Are you looking for a great pair of shoes that'll last through your wedding day? Today, I'm gonna to give you a Fuchsia Shoes review to see if these shoes can really last through everything a wedding day can throw at it. Let's go. Before we get into the video, if you are new to this channel and are interested in all things wedding world or photography related, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content when it comes out. Wedding shoes are a vital part of every bride's day and they should be able to hold up to all the walking around and dancing. Today I'm going to share our honest review of our fuchsia shoes after having worn them for two whole months to let you know if they can hold up to everything a wedding day is going to throw at them. And make sure that you stick around till the very end so you don't miss out on our special offer. So in full disclosure, Fuchsia Shoes reached out to us. They sent us two beautiful pairs of shoes and I am excited to give our honest review of them. Before we get into the shoes themselves, I want to share with you what makes them special. These shoes are ethically made. They are handmade in a small village in Pakistan and this provides a fair wage for the families that are there. I love when there is a beautiful story behind a product, when there is something that makes me more excited to purchase or use that product. These shoes are hand embroidery and they're also sourced with materials and products that are found in that region, in that local area. And of course, if vegan options are important to you, that is also something that this shoe company offers. As far as the styles of fuchsia shoes that are available, there are a wide variety of color, a wide variety of texture and patterns in them, and I do love that about the shoes. I love the ability to have options and kind of dress up a pair of jeans um, when I'm being casual. And then they also have, outside of just the fabric, beautiful beadwork on different pairs of shoes as well as different hand embroidery work, like this gold leaf pair that they sent me. I absolutely adore the tiny detail work in this and how fancy it makes me feel when I'm wearing them with a pair of jeans. So as far as the durability and the construction of the shoe, I love the fact that the interiors of both this shoe, this is the Black Forest, and the Gold Leaf have a really soft suede-like feel to them. So my feet feel really comfortable. On top of that, they have a really good cushion to them, especially in the arch, and that's really rare to find um, in a lot of the shoes that we've tried. On a wedding day, I need that soft cushion and that support when I'm on my feet for a long period of time. So that's a huge plus for these shoes. Now, on both the backs or the bottoms of these shoes, this is, could be a plus or a minus. So there's not a lot of traction on the bottom of this shoe, which is great if you are a bride or a bridesmaid on the dance floor, that means that you're gonna be able to twirl and dance and not kind of get stuck on shoes that have a lot more traction. I hate that when I'm on the dance floor. I hate that when I'm dancing and I, I can't spin. I know it's a girl thing. Um, but from a perspective of somebody that might be having to climb stairs or going down a hill, you do want more traction and I do appreciate that in the cold leaf. In addition to that, these are all hand sewn. They are individually stitched on the interior and I love the fact that they're sturdy. They're, they're not going to fall apart and they are high quality made. As far as the flexibility of the shoe when you're wearing them, I've worn these Black Forest shoes more, so they're a lot more broken in. They can twist a lot more, they can stretch a lot more. Versus the Gold Leaf, I haven't worn them as much and they're still a little bit stiff and they need to be broken in a little bit more. But I find that with most shoes that I'm wearing on a wedding day, that there is a small break-in period for making them comfortable. So as far as the pricing goes for these shoes, we found anywhere from in the $60 range all the way up to the 120 range. And that really depends on the detail work. If there's a lot more embroidery in them like these, they're gonna be more expensive. But to be honest, the price point for these versus the value, you're getting a lot 
for your shoes. These are handmade. And for a pair of handmade shoes, that price is pretty reasonable. As far as the sizing goes, I found that these shoes hold true to size. So I typically wear a 10 in most shoes. I might wear a 10 and a half, and it's very, very rare that I ever wear an 11. So when I first received the gold leaf pair, they were sent in an 11, and they were way too big for my feet. They kept falling off. And so the company sent a size 10 back to me, and they fit really, really well. Now, when it comes to sizing, they don't have any half sizes. I do wish that they did, um, because it requires a little bit more breaking in time for the shoes at a size 10. The other thing is, there is no left and right shoe. That, that's unusual um, to ever find that. They're literally, you get to pick which one is gonna be the left and which one is gonna be the right. And I say that because it's really important to pick which one is gonna be the left and right. I actually have labeled mine because once you start to break them in, they will mold and conform to your foot and it will feel really weird if you switch them later on after you've broken them in. So while that may seem strange initially, once you break the shoe in, it's not an issue at all. So the final verdict on the Fuchsia shoes. I think they are phenomenal for a bridal party, for a bride to wear. I think that they add an extra layer and level of elegance because of their hand beaded work. And I love the mission that they stand for. Now, with that being said, as a wedding photographer, there are often times that I have to climb in bushes or climb over uh, bridges or do really strange things. And so situationally, I would have to decide on a wedding day where I'm gonna be and what the weather's like before wearing them to a wedding. However, I cannot wait to wear these shoes to all of our upcoming holiday events. We have a ball coming up and they are gonna be perfect for those type of formal occasions where I really want to have that extra dressy um, layer with my outfits. So all in all, I love these shoes for those special occasions. I think they're phenomenal and I can't wait to continue to wear these throughout the rest of the year. So if you want to get complimented on your shoes every time you walk out of the house, just like I do, then make sure you head to the show notes below so that you can get 20% off of your Fuchsia shoes when you order $74 or more. So if you want to see more of our wedding shoe reviews, then make sure that you hit this playlist right here. And if you've enjoyed this video, then leave us a comment and make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our new content. See you next time.